Yeah. Now I'd like to introduce Adam Dixon. He's one of our accounting team. Uh, I guess I'd say he comes from an auditing background, so he has a fair bit of experience in accounting systems and has developed, as a result of that, into a bit of a cloud guru and cloud accounting systems in the office. So uh, Adam's come to talk to us a bit about um, cloud accounting and what that's going to mean for us, especially over the next couple of years. Thanks. Thanks, John. So I'm quickly going to touch on the financial reporting, record keeping, the different ways of businesses can satisfy their financial reporting requirements, which will then lead into the, uh, the cloud accounting software. So as we kick off, I guess the question is, why do we prepare financial records? And this is likely to vary between business to business and based on their own individual requirements, such as is the business owned by a family group, is it owned by an individual, or are there, are there a number of uh, third parties involved in running of that business. So as a minimum, every business must provide at least one set of financial accounts annually for their ATO tax obligations. Um, but there are many more important reasons why each business would and should want to prepare uh, detailed financial reports throughout the year. These being being able to regularly review the profitability of your business and uh, monitor how well your business is tracking on a timely basis. And I guess that it just puts us on the front foot. Um, if our business is heading in a certain direction, we can take steps throughout the year to address that um, before it's too late. The other one there is for your management and decision-making requirements. I guess if we maintain up-to-date financial accounts throughout the year, we can easily identify our busy months, and that may impact on our predicted staffing levels. Um, we can make decisions around that. And it also... Uh, sort of in, gives a good indication of where our cash flow is heading. Um, we all know there's certain months where um, there might be significant more expenditures um, that are greater than other months. And if we know they're coming up and we know how well we're tracking, um, we know whether the cash flow is going to be sufficient to be able to meet those obligations going forward. Now, I guess there's many different ways that businesses currently um, keep track of their records. The first ones there is probably what we all want to get away from, um, putting all our financial records in a box and then dealing with them at year end when it's time to pass them on to the accountant. Um, I guess businesses in this boat uh, probably only know how well they're going by uh, monitoring their bank balance and this can be very deceiving, particularly if you've got employees because there could be a lot of uh, current liabilities accruing in the background that you may not be prepared for, such as your your pay-as-you-go tax, GST, or super liabilities. The second option there, the, the bank link or the cloud cash book, these are pretty basic software packages, but they're still uh, very useful, and I know a lot of businesses find these very efficient. Um, the basis of these programs is they link directly to your bank account, so transactions that process through your bank account automatically feed into these software programs, and then you as the business owner or whoever um, is your bookkeeper can code the receipts and payments and, and it allows you to maintain a quick profit and loss. Um, I guess the downside of, of the cloud cash books and the bank link software is that it's, it's, if you've got employees and a payroll function, then it, it can't quite cope with that, so you would probably still have to process that through an external system. However, if you are a retail business and um, have a... a a complex and detailed point of sale system, um, this could still be a good option for you guys. The desktop software, they can handle all, uh, all functions of the business, so the invoicing, accounts payable, accounts receivable, um, payroll aspects. The biggest downside is that it can handle a lot of data and it can produce a lot of detailed financial information. However, it can be quite time consuming to get the data into these, into these programs. And also the downside is that it's all stored on the one computer. So if something happens to that computer, a lot of information can be lost. Which is why a lot of businesses recently have been moving to the cloud programs. So these cloud programs include programs such as Xero, uh, MyOb Online or QuickBooks Online. Um, the basis of these programs is that they operate in the cloud. 
so you can access your accounting file anywhere, anytime, from a range of devices, whether it be an iPhone or a tablet, as long as it's connected to the internet. So we'll go through some of the, uh, the main benefits of the cloud programs on the next slide. So the first one up the top there being mobility and flexibility. So obviously the, each of these programs are cloud based. So as long as we have an internet connection, we can get in and view our financial records. We can view our profit and loss. Uh, we can review our balance sheet and how well we've performed the day before. The second one there, I know a lot of the media marketing has been spooking this feature is the get paid faster. This is probably more relevant for the trade type entities and it refers to tradespeople being able to the raise invoices while they're on the job and email those invoices directly to the customers before they leave the site. And I guess it just, uh, with the customer receiving the invoice in a more timely manner, it's more likely that they'll pay it in a timely manner rather than have the particular business owner having to raise invoices at the end of the week or at the end of the month, whichever it may be, and then there's a delay in get, getting them mailed out there. The third one there, security. The cloud software programs are as secure as your internet banking. And I guess most of us now use internet banking and trust internet banking very regularly. So the cloud software and the information that you put on that cloud software is still very secure. There's also, um, the cloud programs are accessed by individual usernames and passwords. And there's also, it's called uh, second authorization access now, which I think is a recent feature that the ATO have implemented, whereby you need a unique code that's sent to your own, your own secure device each time you want to log in. So if you happen to lose your computer or if someone gets access to your computer or device is stolen, um, they still won't be able to get access to your accounting, accounting records. The fourth one down the bottom there, a great feature is a simple access for advisors in that us as accountants can access the same accounting file and view the same transactions as you as a client at the same time. So if you're ever having any issue with being able to deal with or account for a transaction within your software, you can call your accountant via the phone, we can log in, view what your problem is and talk you through the solution over the phone and it's the matter's sort of addressed there and then um, and you know how to deal with it going forward. The also a great feature there for the advisors is you'll no longer have to take a physical backup and provide that to your accountant to do BAS returns and tax returns each year. We can log into the same file that you're working on and you can continue working on, on that file. So if the, your accountant has to make any adjustments to your file, it'll all be done in the one file and your accounting records will, will all line up. Another great feature there, and we touched on earlier, is the up-to-date information for decision making. Now, the your business transactions are automatically fed into this software directly from the bank. So when you log into your accounting file, the previous day's bank transactions will be automatically in that file. So all you have to do is review the transactions process and allocate them to the relevant income and expense accounts. So you can continually have an up-to-date profit and loss pretty much current as of the previous day's trading. And we've had a lot of feedback from people that say they, they log in by their iPhone each morning while they're eating breakfast or reading the newspaper. They quickly code up the previous day's transactions and their accounting reports are, are up to date as of that day. So I know a lot of, a lot of clients are getting the benefit of that. Now the add-on integration, this is a pretty fast evolving sort of marketplace, I guess, where there's a lot of third parties and even the, uh, the Zeros, the Mibes and QuickBooks are developing additional accounting software which can talk to each of these programs. Now the accounting software they've developed might be targeted more towards a payroll function, a point of sale function, an inventory management function. There's a, there's a huge variety of add-ons, uh, we'll, and we'll touch on a few of the more popular ones later, but the main benefit of each add-on is to try and save you as a business owner uh, time and administration in running a business. So as we've touched on, the, the software is internet based, so as long as you have a, an internet connection, um, you can access it anywhere, anytime, overseas, in the car, travelling, you can stay up to date with how, how well your business is performing. It's transaction recording, so it's just coding the ins and outs of the process through the bank, as well as 
coding, accounts payable, accounts receivable, and, and payroll. There is the ability for point of sale software to integrate directly with your accounting file, which reduces the need for double handling of information there. So if you're currently a business that has a, a point of sale system, that system will be recording sales as they happen throughout the day. With the cloud-based programs, they can talk to that system and the day's sales will automatically be imported into your accounting software and it can even match those daily sales with the bank deposit for the following day. There's the ability for inter inventory management integration. So this is where you might have an inter inventory management software program that handles your stock in and stock out. The inventory management program can talk directly to your accounting software. So if you purchase inventory, um, if you do stock write downs and that sort of thing, those entries will be journaled directly into your accounting software um, and be imported into your profit and loss. So it's just to save you time of having to double enter transactions in the two, two separate programs there. The accounting software, and this will sort of assist the payroll function. It, Mark touched on it earlier, but there's a lot of changes in regards to how we report on payroll. All these three programs here all have a payroll function, and I know mild and zero are definitely um, will be set up to handle the one-touch payroll. I'm yet to, not 100% sure about Intuit QuickBooks, but if they're not set up for it yet, I I'm, I'm, would be pretty confident they'll be set up for it soon. Um, so that it just reduces the risk of uh, non-compliance there, which Mark touched on earlier. The payment gateway. So these software programs have the ability, if you raise an invoice in the program and send it to a customer, the customer can pay directly uh, through a link, electronic link on that invoice. So if they receive an invoice electronically in their emails, they can open the invoice on their own email. Uh, it will take them to their internet banking and they can uh, pay the invoice there and then from their phone. And that just increases the likelihood that you will be paid in a timely manner. The payment gateway, there's also the ability for the, uh, the accounting software to integrate directly to the FPOS system on your till and it, the, the money received through the FPOS system when it's deposited into the bank that will automatically be coded the following day within the software. So it's just, it all talks to each other and I guess it, it can save a, a great deal of time with you on processing transactions. So some of the main features here, the time saving in processing transactions. If you have regular transactions, you can automate, automate this coding. So if it knows that um, if you've got a particular um, supplier that you regularly use for inventory, if you're making purchase for, purchases from that supplier, it will know that that supplier needs to be coded as an inventory expense. The same goes for payments to if you buy fuel from a certain supplier, um, any, anything, you can set up any sort of memorizations that can be tailored for your particular business. So individual usernames and passwords for access. Now that's the same for both the accounting software and also the point of sale software that integrate with it. Um, and that'll be a great, a great sort of control for the businesses in the retail sector that may receive a lot of cash takings. If you have staff that are in control of processing and receiving money, um, you, you have the ability, each transaction processed by each individual will be tracked in the back of the system um, and you can run reports per user to see how many, say, sales transactions were, in, were voided by X employee and, and it might just give you an indication of, of what's going on in your business when you're not necessarily on the storefront to see what's happening firsthand. Simple payroll. Once it's set up correctly, the payroll function is very simple. It's all electronic, pay slips are stored electronic, timesheets can be stored electronic, so it just takes the pressure off you when it comes to payroll each week or fortnight, printing reports, and it also saves a lot of time. We touched on it then, but timesheets can be completed electronically. I know um, most of the software here has the ability for employees to complete their timesheets um, by log logging in via their own device. Um, so each employee would have access to the accounting software. However, obviously you don't want your employees to be able to view all your accounting information, so their access can be tailored to view just what they need to and just what you want them to. 
Electronic storage of documents, so invoices, um, any other financial records can be uploaded into the accounting software and be attached to a particular transaction. So rather than having filing cabinets full of supplier invoices, they can all be stored electronically. Um, I know Zero and then there's another um, third party app which we'll touch on later, has the ability to, if you purchase um, a good, you can take a photo of that invoice and import it directly into Zero there and then um, as the purchase is made. Up to date financial reports, it's very rare for businesses not to be able to keep their accounting transactions up to date. It depends on the business owner. Obviously, not everyone would like to do it daily, but a lot of people are very current, either weekly, um, so you can see how your business is performing and then adjust your future business decisions based on that performance. Category reporting. I know this can be very um, important for retail businesses that may have multiple storefronts or they may have a storefront and an online sales department. So each transaction can be allocated, allocated to a particular uh, category based on where the transaction occurred. So if you've got short store sales and online sales, the store sales will be coded to one category, the online sales will be coded to a separate category. Now if you've got expenses that are relevant to a particular um, segment of your business, they can be also allocated to that particular category and you can easily then trace in your business which, which segment of your business is more profitable and which one's perhaps not as profitable as what you thought. And I know there's many businesses that have uh, sort of started with the storefront and moved to online to boost their sales and realised that the online store is actually much more profitable, which has driven them to then uh, move solely online rather than maintain all the costs that are associated with, with maintaining that storefront. Uh, very important to be able to maintain your current liabilities. Uh, the super owing, the GST and the, the pay as you go is accruing there in the background. Um, each week when you process your wages or, or each fortnight, you can review your balance sheet to see how much super is going to be due the following month. Just to, and that's just to double check for you guys to make sure there's going to be sufficient cash flow to meet those obligations when they're due. And all the cloud-based programs can be updated very regularly and they have the ability to integrate with a variety of applications or add-ons as they're commonly called. And these add-ons, the amount of uh, add-ons in the marketplace are increasing at a very rapid rate. And uh, we'll just touch on a few of the more popular, popular add-ons briefly. Um, these are no, by no means a, a full set, but they're, they're just some that are out on the market uh, and you may find some efficiencies in. So the first one there is Receipt Bank. That's an electronic uh, storage app. Um, multiple employees or users in your business can log on to the one file. Um, Receipt Bank is just... If you're out on the road, or you don't even have to be out on the road, but it's just it can store all your uh, supporting documents for your payments, and that can be done via a photo. Um, when you take a photo of your receipt, it gets uploaded into Receipt Bank. Receipt Bank has the ability to read what's on that photo, and if it knows the nature of what it's read, it, it will automatically code it to a particular expense account. Then um, that transaction links to your accounting software, and all those transactions are automatically recorded in your profit and loss. Um, the next one there is Vend. That's a, it's sort of a complete point of sale system. Vend can stand alone. It is cloud based, but it also operates um, offline. So if there's a trouble with your internet connection during the day or for a particular period, it won't hold up your ability to be able to um, submit sales and process sales. It still can work offline. So Vend manages inventory. It's a customer relationship program, so we can track each sale by customer, customer type, and customer group. And I know a lot of users of Vend find this particularly important when they want to um, create a new promotion. They can target that promotion to a particular customer group that's automatically saved in that system. Um, there is an inventory management program, so when stock gets below certain levels, Vend will know to raise a purchase order um, to replenish that stock. Obviously, all these sorts of automisations um, go past you to review before they're enacted. So it won't, it won't send an order off to a supplier. 
without you first reviewing and authorising that, um, that side of it. Now, Venn does have the great ability to be able to grow with your business. It's easy to add a new cash register onto Venn or new users um, and new locations if you open up a new storefront or staff. Um, and there also is a great module inside Vend um, to set up your own online store if that is something of interest to you. Um, it, it provides um, great training and steps on how to do that as well. Unleashed is, uh, is just an inventory management system. So Unleashed can stand alone as well or it can also link into your point of sale system in Vend and, and talk to your accounting software. So Unleashed is probably more for businesses that um, Rather than have multiple over-the-counter type sales, it's probably more businesses where customers will submit an order of stock. That stock will then be procured um, and then shipped out to the customer. So it can track your stock from the moment you submit an order to when it's delivered to the customer and the, the sale is completed. Revel is targeted more to businesses in the hospitality type industry, so your cafes and restaurants. It is a complete standalone point of sale system. Um, so Revel has the ability to build menus and you can input your raw materials into each menu. Um, I know a lot of cafes, we've had feedback, they find this great for being able to minimise wastage of food. They can review the days that they're selling certain types of meals. Um, for example, if it's a cafe that sells salad rolls, they might be able to look at their sales history and say on Wednesdays we sell heaps more salad rolls than what we sell on Tuesdays. And they can tailor their ordering of, of fresh bread um, to make sure they increase their order for Wednesdays and then reduce their order for Tuesdays. Just sort of things like that. It can increase efficiencies and, and reduce costs that way. Deputy is a payroll, payroll integration app. Um, Deputy is great for being able to roster staff. As a business owner, you can allocate staff to particular time slots. Each staff or each employee has their own username and login. They can log in, view their roster, they clock on through their own app and clock off through their own app. And if their actual hours posted varies from their rostered hours, you as business owner will receive notification and you can address the reason why um, on a timely manner. Deputy also talks directly to awards. Um, so when an employee is entered into deputy, you will allocate them as under a particular level of the award. Deputy will calculate their pay rates based on that award and being cloud-based, when awards changes and award rates change, um, this information is uploaded uh, into the software as it occurs. And deputy can also calculate the overtime penalty rates, shift allowances and all that sort of thing for weekends. Futrilli is a, uh, a cash flow budgeting program. Um, it's great for forecasting. If you want to go down a particular direction, you can input the uh, projected predicted income and expenses and it will just uh, give you a bit of an indication whether that, that direction may be viable to proceed with or not. And finally, to uh, finish off on there, Square is just a payment gateway. It's a little device that can plug into your phone or iPad and sit on, on the counter of your store it, um, and receive payments through debit or credit card. And part of, Ven uh, part of Square is if you purchase this product, it, it also comes with a free point of sale system. The point of sale system is very basic, but depending on your business needs, it might be sufficient for, uh, for, for your business. Now, uh, is there any, any questions?